हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ राहुल नितिन पाटिल असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन केमिस्ट्री डिपार्टमेंट टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ग्राइवोमेट्रिक एनालिसिस इन ग्राइवोमेट्रिक एनालिसिस इट्स डेफिनेशन देन द टाइप्स ऑफ द ग्राइवोमेट्रिक एनालिसिस एडवांटेजेस ऑफ द ग्राइवोमेट्रिक एनालिसिस डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ द ग्राइवोमेट्रिक एनालिसिस एंड द स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व इन द ग्राइवोमेट्रिक एनालिसिस सो वॉट टॉपिक वी विल कवर सो दिस इज द टॉपिक a general introduction to the gravimetric analysis types of that gravimetric analysis steps involved in gravimetric analysis and last one advantages and disadvantages of the gravimetric analysis so what is gravimetric analysis so gravimetric analysis is a method in a analytical chemistry to determine the quantity of an analyte based on the mass of a solid example measuring the solid suspended in the water sample once a known volume of water is filtered the collected solids are weighed so at the end of the experiment we will know the how much quantity it means using the gravimetric analysis we will note down how much weight that is the quantity of the product we will measure the principle of the gravimetric analysis the principle behind the gravimetric analysis is that the mass of an ion in a pure compound and can be determined later used to find the mass percentage of the same ion in a known quantity of an impure compound so types of the gravimetric analysis so there are the two types first one precipitation gravimetric analysis and second one volatilization gravimetric analysis so first one precipitation gravimetric in precipitation gravimetric the analyte is converted to sparingly soluble salt it means it is not completely soluble so that's why it is in the sparingly soluble salt this precipitate is then filtered wash free of impurities ignited and then wet so we will see this reaction example when silver nitrate agno3 plus reacted with nacl that is sodium chloride so we will get the agcl silver chloride plus sodium nitrate that is nano3 so agcl that is silver chloride will get in the precipitation form see the how the procedure will happen the in precipitation gravimetric analysis so first of all when we will start the experiment so whatever the analysis or preparation of the sample we will take after the addition of the given compound or solution it will start forming the precipitation after forming it will keep as in the uh, water bath to complete the digestion process after 25 30 minutes the digestion process is completed we have to get a filter with the suction pump you using wattman filter paper number uh, 41 after then that dry product or whatever the filtrate we have to keep in the electric oven so it will get dry and after then we have to note down the weight using the weighing balance so how much quantity of that precipitate will get so precipitation gravimetry that isolation of an ion precipitation calcium can be determined gravimetrically by the precipitation of calcium oxalate and ignition of the oxalate ion to calcium oxide so this is the example of an that precipitation gravimetry see when calcium ions uh, that reacted with oxalic acid that is c2h2o4 so it will form in the calcium oxalate ca c2o4 and when that calcium oxalate continuously we are heating so it will get converted into the calcium carbonate cacio3 and co it will get the by product after then again continuously heating to that calcium carbonate cacio3 so it will get converted into the calcium oxide and carbon dioxide it will co2 it will become as a by product so the precipitate thus obtain are way and the mass of the calcium oxide is determined so at the end of the how much calcium oxide is remain we will with the help of the weighing balance we can measure the weight of that calcium oxide then another type second one type that is the volatilization gravimetry so it's a name indicating so volatilization uh, gravimetry so volatilize the compound so separating the components of our mixture by heating or chemically decomposing the sample it means we have to heat or get chemically decompose the sample so loss in the mass of a sample takes place and the, from that we can calculate the weight of the component so in this volatilization gravimetry when the mixture of the two compound 
we have to provide it then we have to place in that crucible and then continuously heating 25 30 minutes so one of the compound it will get evaporate and one of the compound it will get remain as in the in that crucible so we know that at the end of we have to take the way so we will get the quantity how much is evaporate which one compound and which one compound get remain in that crucible see this is the example when zinc carbonate when zinc carbonate we have to heat continuously so it will get converted into the form of zinc oxide and carbon dioxide so zinc oxide it will remain into that crucible as it is and co2 carbon dioxide it will get evaporate so we can separate out then volatilization gravity see so that evaporating dish is required then burner then wire gauze and tripod so continuously heating is given so one compound it will get remain as it is into that and then another one compound it will get evaporate the next part the steps involved in the gravimetric analysis it means at the start to end how will get the starting the preparation of solution at the end of that how will get the uh, yield of the product that is the how much quantity of that product will get so first one preparation of a solution and the second one the precipitation digestion filtration then washing drying weighing and last one calculation part so first one preparation of a solution we have to prepare the solution of a given sample by adjusting the volume of the sample to suit the amount of precipitating a reagent to be added after then precipitation this required addition of a precipitating reagent example sulfuric acid oxalic acid calcium oxide because of this uh, precipitating reagent when we adding so it will get start forming the pre uh, precipitate in the solution then digestion so digestion involves the dissolution of a small particle and the uh, this uh, the precipitation larger ones resulting in a particle growth and better uh, precipitate characteristic it means when digestion part it will get complete so maximum yield of that precipitate it will form in that our uh, beaker or in the conical flask then filtration after completion of the digestion part we have to uh, then we have to filter our that precipitate using the Wattman filter paper then suction pump we can use this technique for the filtration after then washing so whatever the quantity remain in that beaker so with the help of the washing so that's why sometimes you are using the uh, distilled water we have to take then rinse that beaker with the help of that distilled water wash it properly and again filter after then uh, then uh, remaining part of that drying washing after completion of that washing the uh, drying part is there for drying that uh, paper or uh, whatever the uh, collected the quantity of that yield we have to keep in the electric oven to get dry that product then weighing after how much quantity of the product will get so with the help of the weighing balance we have to note down how much uh, weight of the products or yield of the products will get and finally calculation by using the weight of the precipitate we have to calculate the mass and the percentage weight of an our desired iron then uh, advantages of the gravimetric analysis so we know that there is any technique so having some advantages and this uh, advantage of this technique so if the methods are followed carefully it provides ex exceedingly precise analysis so we will get the good result it is used to determine the atomic masses of many elements to six figure accuracy it provides a little room for the instrumental error and does not require a series of standard for calculation of an unknown then another one it provides a little room of the instrumental error and does not require the series standards for calculation of an unknown then it is accurate and precise when using a modern analytical balance there are some having one or two disadvantages of this gravimetric analysis it is usually provides only for the analysis of a single element or a limited group of an elements at a time it means at a one time only one element we can analysis it requires a meticulous time consuming method it means this method is required the time also so time consuming method thank you